And then the casting director, after he like kicks me out, mm -hmm. he just, last thing he says to me, he goes, you just don't, like, you aren't believable as a human. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. So, I just really felt like last episode was lacking in some professionalism. So, today I thought I would really bring it, give it my all, give a hundred and ten percent and really give the viewers what they're here for. I don't know, I just thought like, if we were gonna do this again, we might as well go full out. Hi, I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Belle. And today we're breaking, breaking into, into an apartment, apartment in Gramercy Park. Park. We're two best friends. Took the train in from Jersey City. Two best friends. This is where our theme song goes. This is where our theme song goes. This is where our theme song goes. Our theme song for this show. So we thought Brooklyn was just way too easy to break into. So we moved up to Manhattan. We're trying our luck here in Gramercy Park. We found this uh, construction site that now we're in this courtyard. Um, and if you've never been to Manhattan like me, it's a magical, beautiful place. Like, we saw so many great things here. We saw, um, I saw a hot dog stand, um, right next to a pretzel stand, both salt and no salt. Um, we passed by a J. Crew. Um, I saw like three dogs on our walk here. They didn't have owners, they were just kind of running around, so that was pretty weird. But other than that, like, Manhattan is just. Did you just pick that lock? God. Wow, Gramercy, very yeah. nice. You're literally yelling. Very nice. exploring the kitchen a little and there are some things I'm really excited about some things I'm not so excited about um, but let's start with the pros so looking around just at the countertop there are a lot of stains so I'm assuming cooking does happen here from time to time we move on to the dishes the dish rack here mostly it's shot glasses so a lot of drinking happens in this apartment which you know I'm fine with. What I'm really excited about is this. This much spice is amazing. You don't, you don't usually see this, much, this many spices in a person's house. And you know me, like, if you're gonna have a dish, you can't have a good dish without good spices. This is awesome. So they've got, it looks like a Mexican hot chocolate with sugar and cinnamon, so. Delicious, but it's unopened, so we might not be able to use it. Um, let's look around in some drawers. Um, great. We've got some silver. Oh my god. So this is lovely. We've got some butter in the drawers. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, re I just totally recant my statement. There's a lot of takeout that happens in this house. There's cat. I think ketchup, um, salt and pepper and what looks like sugar. Um, oh, giant knives! All right, that's awful. Great. Why do we store knives in there? That's fine. Okay, cool. We're gonna we're gonna put this back very delicately. I think now's a good time as any to check the fridge and see what we're working with. I'm excited. Oh my God, no! 
Wait, what? Okay, so let's start here. We have face mask, face mask, um, possibly face mask, I don't know. Face mask, face mask, face mask, face mask, face mask, tons of tonic water, chocolate. Literally, the only thing I see that could possibly be of any use, um, oh my god, are the tortillas and cheese? <laughs> Am I making a quesadilla? Oh god, I was so hopeful. So, looking through that fridge, my heart plummeted. However, amongst all the face masks, I found this small jar that's called Better Than Bouillon, which is this really incredible ingredient that you basically just take one spoonful of and toss it into some boiling water, and you have instant chicken stock. So that got me thinking, amongst all those spices and the chocolate that they have, we can actually amp up these quesadillas and make a mole sauce. It's a traditional Mexican sauce that usually goes over chicken, but its base is dark chocolate. So I'm really excited to get started on this, and I think we can actually make something that's going to taste fantastic. Melted chocolate and chicken water by Jason. So because we've been, you know, doing some breaking and entering and, you know, walking around Trash City, which is what I call Manhattan all day, um, we have to wash our hands before we start really cooking. So just get up in there, some warm water. This is a great sink, damn. Um, and then we're gonna get started on our meal. So what we're going to do with this chicken stock is, it's not really mixing. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a lovely technique I call swirl it until all the residue goes away. Look, it looks perfect now. Yes, you can't see any residue. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So our next step in making our mole sauce is going to be to melt down this dark chocolate. Beautiful half eaten. Oh my god. Five second bowl. Um, and We'll wrap that up later. And we're just gonna toss this in the microwave for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. We're gonna take it out, you're gonna roll it around, roll it around, stir it around as well. Um, just to make sure the consistency gets all the way through, cool? Yeah, that's the perfect consistency. That's exactly what we want. Yep, look at that pour. That's beautiful. I should have shaved if I had known. We were gonna do face masks, it's so cold! I really wanna use that Mexican hot chocolate stuff. Use it. The great thing with um, spices, um, as any good cook should know, is you can always taste, and uh, if it doesn't taste like you have enough, or if you have too much, uh, you can always go back and 
um, add more or add another ingredient that actually might help mitigate if you feel like it's too salty or too sweet or too spicy. There are always other things you can add to actually lessen those kinds of flavors. And then we're gonna add some of that chicken stock that we've got on the, on the what's that? It's a stove, good. I'm professional, you should trust me in your homes that I've broken into. So we're gonna do this a little at a time. We're not gonna add too much because we don't want the sauce to become super runny, which is what's gonna happen when we add all of this liquid. So as we stir this, um, we're gonna then take a taste test with our Grandmaster Taster, Bell, and we'll see what we t think. And if we need to change it, we'll change it. This is where I find my joy in cooking is like, you really, you can make mistakes, but I feel like you can always come back from them. So like if we kind of mitigated all of the sweetness to this, I would just added like some honey. Honey is kind of my like fix all. I'm like, oh no, I've done something wrong. Just add some honey. It's another flavor. They'll get over it. So, okay, Belle, let's do one more taste test and see if this is gonna be good on our quesadillas. That's very different. That's very different flavor than what I had wow. before. Wow, I really like it. Okay, I guess next is just the quesadillas and that's the easy part. Just bang, bang, boom. Ah, it's a monster! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Move, move, move! <laughs> <sighs> I've slain the beast. The other side's going up, the other side's going up. I've slain the beast. Oh, it smells like it's burning. So we're gonna get this one off. I swear to god, if the fire alarm goes off and you can in here. <laughs> It looks out, burnt. But no, it looks perfect. Let's look at the other side. Beautiful color. Let's turn the stove off. Um, great, and let's cut into this bad boy. Great, 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 great. Alrighty, I think it's time to dig in. Ah! Mmm. Mm. This is really good. Mmm. I'm happy with this. This is really, really Yay! good. Yes. Mmm. 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 Talk, speak, human talk, speak, human talk to me. <laughs> oh, no. Got it in her eye. Are you okay? Goodbye. I don't know what to do about it. Too. <laughs>